When working with piece profiles, the Piece Properties dialog allows selection from a number of various cross-section libraries that are already part of the standard Vertex BD environment. The available libraries are shown in a library drop-down selection list, such as the HSS underscore RECT library is for HSS rectangular cross-section shapes, the S sections library for stud cross-section shapes, the T sections library for track cross-section shapes, and so on. This tutorial will show how to create a new piece profile into an existing library. For this example, I will be creating a new HSS shape profile that has the properties of the drawing shown at the right. Piece Profile Library Administration functions can be accessed from within the System tab, Library Management Group. Go to the Profile drop-down menu and select Edit Cross-Sections. The list of cross-section libraries then appears. Scroll down and select the HSS underscore RECT library. Once selected, the specific library submenu appears. For the process of creating a new piece or for the process of editing an existing piece, these two database access functions are typically used. The cross-section library function and the cross-section parameters library function. First, select cross-section library function. The basic procedure for creating a new profile is to copy a database row of an existing profile and then modify the properties to suit the new profile. To do this, first scroll down to a row that's similar to the new profile. Since the new profile will be an HSS dash 8 by 3 and a half by 1 half, as a template, I will use the HSS 8 by 4 by 1 half. I scroll down and left click to activate that row. To copy this database row, right mouse click to access the database contextual menu and select Copy Row. Once the row is copied, a new unique piece code needs to be entered. Keep in mind that it is good practice to use similar naming conventions. So, in this case, the new code will be uppercase HSS-8, lowercase x, 312, lowercase x, 1, slash, 2. This is a two-page database, whereas the information filled out on the first page is the name of the files that will be used to create the cross-sections accurate and coarse representations. As you can see, all of the profiles are using the same pattern of data for the cross sections. A file named tube is being used, so we will also use the same values, even without needing to know more information about what these files actually do. Page 2 contains thickness and weight information. For our new profile, the thickness is also 0.5 inches, and our new profile weight will be 31.84 pounds per foot. Once finished with this database, click OK, which saves and closes the database. Next, we need to go into the cross-section parameters library database. Within this database, if we scroll down, we will see a new entry for the new profile. In this database, we'll enter the geometric properties of width, height, and thickness. Once completed, select OK to save and close the database. The function for editing the profile library will continue to run until the escape key is pressed to entirely quit the function. Now the new piece is available for selection.